And here at home, more people will be returning to work tomorrow. Metro trains and buses will face a crucial test. Travel troubles could mean some long delays. Metro says more buses and subway cars will be in service, but that doesn't mean that Metro will be operating at capacity. Fox 5's Robbie Chavez is live in Northwest, where commuters are finding a mountain of trouble trying to get around. Hi, Robbie. Quite literally, Tracy, take a look at this. Those who start out on the bus will have to start out on the top of the mountain, so to speak, but it won't feel that way because getting around here is not the easiest thing to do and tomorrow's commute they say will be better but it might be just a moment before the commute sinks to a new low. The regular commute will have a bit more ups and downs Wednesday especially for bus riders. Negotiating with the huge snow banks that block stops will remain a challenge. Buses will run only on snow routes and on a modified weekday schedule. Many know a smooth ride won't come easy. It's tiring after, you know, the same amount of time getting to work is coming home. <laughs> and how does that compare to uh, normal? Oh, normally it's, it's really quick. It's about a 20 minute, no, about a 30 minute commute. And today? Today it's uh, a couple hours. Metro Rail plans to step up service too. Even though much of the snow has been removed from commuter parking lots, only half, some 25,000 spaces will be available. The others will be filled with plowed snow. Rail riders are breaking for a nasty nightmare. Pretty grim. I'm staying in town tonight because I don't want to take a chance of being late tomorrow. And it took me almost two hours to get in today. To improve things, Metro Rail plans service every 12 to 15 minutes, an improvement over twice an hour. Service will be offered at all stations, but only two-thirds of the fleet will ride the rails with you. Officials say ridership has been a guessing game since the big snow. We're trying to match the service with demand and trying to preserve the equipment because we knew that this week we'd have regular rush hour to meet. Commuters expect the regular rush hour to be anything but, so they will grin and bear. Any recommendations? Leave early, bring a good attitude, and uh, be safe. And don't forget the good attitude. Back live now, we want to show you. I'm five foot eight. Let me show you just how tall these snow banks are. These are huge, and this is where folks have to start to take the bus tomorrow. And we want to have one other quick tip for you. We want you to know that you have to walk to the major bus routes because the buses will not be passing on the side streets. So when you're walking on the sidewalks, you want to be careful as well because a lot of the sidewalks are not clear. They're still slick. Tracy, back to you. Thanks for putting it in perspective for us, Robbie. VRE, by the way, is operating on a modified schedule tomorrow. And here's more on the Mark Train situation. The Penn Line will be following the Holiday S schedule. The Camden Line will have two trains to D.C. and back, making local stops. As for the Brunswick Line, it will run to Union Station and back. But if you live in Frederick, listen up. Mark will not be offering service tomorrow. Well, you think